So guys, today we're going to be talking about my ultimate necklace survival kit. And before we get started, as always, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to see more of this unique, awesome Alaskan scenery. So guys, as I mentioned, today we're going to be going over my ultimate necklace survival kit. So to get into it, I haven't done a survival kit in a little while, so I decided I would switch it up and do a really fun and kind of different survival kit, but still a really awesome survival kit that's pretty useful, actually. That's pretty useful and pretty easy to carry. So let's get into this and the contents of this little neck, uh, this ultimate necklace survival kit start off, the basis or the core of this entire kit is this knife. And of course, with any good necklace survival kit, it should pretty much be based around a knife, at least in my thoughts. So the knife for this particular uh, setup for this kit is the Allegheny M38. And this is a pretty awesome knife. I've been using it for around a month and a half. It's served very well. It has a very sharp back for striking ferro rods. Overall, I've really loved its performance in bushcraft. So when I decided to make a neck knife uh, carry for survival kit, this was my first choice. So I was saying the M38 bushcraft knife is the basis of this kit and it's a very capable knife. So now getting into the cordage or the necklace part of this. So the reason why there's so many X crosses here and there's just so much paracord being used for this uh, or on this sheath is because I really wanted to incorporate around five feet of paracord into this necklace and so that it could be easily used as an actual survival cordage if you needed to. And to prevent it from having a really super low hang, I tried to do as many wraps as I could around here to use up as much cordage as possible. And so that's pretty much what I did. So that like I said, incorporates or allows me to incorporate around five feet of paracord right there. So the next piece here, or the next pieces here, are the Exotac Nano Striker XL Ferro Rod for fire crafting. And then I threw in a whistle here just for signaling if you had to uh, get someone's attention. Uh, that's what I threw in there. So to start off with this ferro rod, the reason why I chose the Exotac is one, I love the Exotac, but two, it was really one of the few ferro rods that I could get to work the way I wanted it to work. Now, this, so this may not be the best way to carry a ferro rod, but this is the way I thought of carrying a ferro rod that would be very secure to your neck and still very accessible. So I've tried to carry ferro rods just like putting it, weaving it through these two X shapes here just by weaving it through some of these X's here. And I've never got that to securely work. So what I did was I took the striker part of the Exotac Nano Striker and I actually fished it onto this piece of paracord so that regardless to what would happen, the uh, ferro rod would not fall off. So that unfortunately leaves this striker pretty unusable. But like I said, the back of this knife still is very sharp and will definitely strike the ferro rod. So essentially what you would do to use this ferro rod is you would unscrew it like I showed you guys there and then you'd pull out the ferro rod body and then you would use that to start a fire. So that's how I have the ferro rod set up and why I actually chose this ferro rod in particular is so that like I said I could actually weave part of it into this necklace so that it would be less prone to fall out but still have it readily accessible. So as I mentioned with the ferro rod, these X's, they're really awesome in thought to kind of, you know, have things attached underneath the X's, but because they are very untensioned, like you guys can see there, it just never really ends up working out. So when I had to put the whistle in here, what I did was, you guys will hopefully notice, I know it's all black, so it might be a little bit hard to tell on camera, but what I did was I took about a good inch and a half of bicycle inner tube and I put that around the whistle and that allows it it's not a super friction fit but that inner tube allows just enough friction that you guys can see it's not very easy to get it out of here so that is what I put around there hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better now that little bit of bicycle inner tubing and so I use that to essentially add the friction now as far as the whistle goes I generally like to use my Fox Micro 40 
uh, whistle but I liked this whistle and occasionally I do like to use this whistle because it's super flat so when sitting on a sheath like this it's a lot better to have a very flat whistle and so that's why I chose the uh, tops whistle that and actually the tops whistle is pretty good so you guys have probably seen this thing flopping around a little bit and this is on the back of it and this can be moved away from the bulk of the knife sheath if you want more accurate readings but essentially this is just a very basic uh, base plate compass this is a brunton classic uh, now been replaced by the true arc 3 they're essentially the same compass just this one has a lime green kind of back to it but anyways this is essentially a just like i said a very basic base plate compass to help you navigate and and to overall just gain you know declination where you're wanting to go and just a very helpful and handy thing so like I was saying, that's pretty much all that there is for this kit. And like I was going to say, uh, the big important thing with this kit is that this may not be the most comprehensive survival kit, but what's really nice about this neck knife setup is that it allows you to carry, you know, a compass, fire, cordage, and a some type of signaling device, plus cutlery. Those all very important things of survival. So this means that now instead of having to carry a ferro rod somewhere else on your compass, somewhere else on your whistle, you know, and a knife somewhere else on you, it's all condensed into one nice package, making it easier to carry things like a tarp and or a, you know, like stainless steel water bottle for your other parts of survival. So this won't cover all the seas of survivability and really it'd be quite obnoxious to have some type of cover and uh, container on your like neck. But this does help, like I said, condense some of the different important things for survival all onto your neck so that it allows you to have free hands to carry something like a shelter or a container for survival. So that's one of the most important things about why you should still carry a kit like this. It's not going to cover all of your survival needs, but it will definitely cover a handful of them. And of the, of the five C's of survivability, this covers three of them with cordage, combustion, and cutlery. So that's over half of them. And that's not bad for having all of that just conveniently around your neck. Not to mention you also have a compass and a signaling device. So guys, that is all for my neck knife or my ultimate necklace survival kit. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and as always, I'm out.